And this is the moment, tactic time now. The position is already too loose here, too loose. So it's time for, to find a tactical shot here to win the game now. Now you're going for the victory here. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna start. So this is an advanced class. And please take your seats, everybody. And please, uh, let's be very focused, okay, guys? So we're gonna start out by going over this game. And this game is played by F Rob, uh, Bobby Fischer, Robert Fischer, the only American world champion. And he played a move knight f3. Knight f6. G3, so what I was gonna say is the Reti, okay? It's the Reti opening, okay? So Fisher played that sometimes, and this is in a US Open Oklahoma City. Long time ago he played this game. It's a really nice win. D5. Bishop G2. You develop the bishop. Bishop F5. Castle. So again, white is not aiming for any big advantage here, just wants to get the pieces out and castle to get the safety. White, black plays e6. Now, when the bishop is usually here, we don't really want to play d5 because the bishop is going to be too strong. So we want to try to play d3. That's what you want to play, d3 to blockade the bishop, okay? And d3. Now a bishop is blocked. Bishop is blocked, cannot do anything. Now he plays c6. Knight bd2. Knight bd2 with the idea to play e4 at some point, to prepare maybe e4 idea, okay? Knight a6 we see. Now he played a3, controlling this b4 square, and at some point he would like to play the move b4 himself, to play like b4 and put the bishop on b2. Knight c5. Knight c5. Now, is it a good idea to play before here? Don't rush. Is it a good idea to play this move? What do you think? He didn't play the move. What knight can go? Where do you think he can go? Yes. Huh? No, not b3. b3, I can take you. Knight has a very good square here he can go to. Yes? D7 is a normal square, but something more active. You have something more active here. More active, let's see. Yes? A4. Yes. Yes. Knight a4, look at that square now. Coming to c3. Knight goes to c3, attacking the queen. Very, very nice, okay? So that's why he didn't want to play that, okay? When he plays b4, he wants to make sure the piece is going to go back. It's not going to go forward. Okay? So he played c4. And now, if you play the move b4, it's fine because the knight cannot go here. You will take it. Okay? He cannot do that any longer. So he played b5. But this b4 is not the best move because it weakens the position. In particular, it weakens a pawn. Which pawn did it weaken now? This move b5. Which pawn did it weaken? Every pawn move you push, you weaken something, right? What did it weaken? Yes. Um, C6. Yes. You weaken c6. Yes. You weaken c6. The pawn on c6 is weak now, right? And now you're going to try to attack it. And how did Fisher attack this pawn? Immediately. 
With the move, he activates a piece and attacks. He activates and attacks. Let's see here. Lots of hands we see here, lots of hands. Yes, what did he play? And D4, knight to D4. Bringing the knight here, and now look at this. Directly attacking the pawn on C6. Directly now, this pawn is under attack. Okay, how about this now, training mode. So you don't see it. And attacking the? That is excellent thinking, yes. So this is a cold? Fork, right? Yeah. Now, he played queen d7 to protect c6. Which, now, what is what can you do now? What can you take? What can you take here that is going to ruin black's position? You. Yeah. Like this. Thank you. He takes. And now look at the pawns are doubled. Your light square bishop is now very nice here on this diagonal. So really, black is in big trouble. Now he played knight b3. Knight b3, trying to trade the knights. OK? And opening up the bishop to go to, OK? Bishop go to g5. That's what you want to do. Trade a little bit and go bishop g5. So he played h6, trying to control the g5 square, so no bishop g5. Bishop e3 he activates and attacking the rook. So he attacking the knight. He takes. If he takes, queen takes. And again, lots of pressure on d5, on b5. This bishop is very strong. This is why you see the two bishops are very strong, especially when the position is going to get open like this. Okay? Knight e6. Knight d4. Trading the knights. g6. And queen b3. Activating the queen, putting lots of pressure now on b5, on d5. So he played rook b8. Now, what can you do here? What do you think white can play here? Big, big advantage for white. He has much better development. And look at black. King is still in the middle. Bishop is here. A lot of pieces are still not developed here. Yes. He took on c6. Now you're attacking the rook. Now the rook is under attack, so he has to take it. And now you want to try to fork. Do you see the fork now? You can take something and fork, OK? What can you do and fork? Yes. Take it on. Excellent. Now you're attacking the queen. 
and knight. Now he played knight c5. Now, if you take the queen, he's planning to take back the queen here with the knight. And if you take with the bishop here, he's going to uh, take back with the queen. So here you actually need a quiet move, okay? You need a quiet move here. Quiet move that will basically win the game. The game ended in just a few more moves here. What move did he play here? Yes? Yeah, yeah, but if you do that, he takes your queen too. You take the queen, he takes your queen too, so. So you need something else. Something else needed here, yes? No, d6, but what if I go now, queen takes g2 check, and then I take the queen at the end, okay? All right. No, he doesn't want to lose his queen here. He wants to keep the queen. He wants to keep the queen. Yes, the ground? Hmm. Interesting move. A rook to c1, but he still takes the queen, yeah? Then you want to take with this, yeah? Yeah, I mean, this is, white has a very strong position. White has a very strong position here, but not immediately winning, okay? Big advantage. It's a big advantage here. What else? What else we can do? If we want to keep the queen, if we want to keep the queen here, what else do you have? Yes? Close. Very close. See, look at this rook here. Look at this rook. Look at this knight. These are not very well protected, these pieces. These pieces are uh, called loose pieces, right? When there are loose pieces, what you want to do? You want to try to make it that way to see you're attacking those loose pieces, right? Yes? Aha, uh -huh. queen c3. There you go. Now, you're attacking the queen and still attacking the knight. Okay? Okay. Now it's very difficult to protect everything here. So he played queen to d6. Now, and here we have a position where the queen on d6 is overworked piece, right? There are a few things you can do here. Tigran, what's the move? Queen, queen takes c5. But he's got a bishop too. Oh, yeah. Don't rush, don't rush. You have plenty of moves here. We have two very strong moves we have here. We need to choose between the two moves. Yes? Bishop c5. He wants to take, okay? Because the queen is overworked, it's protecting two knights, right? It's protecting the both knights. So you want to take, and when it takes, you take. Bishop f4 is very good too. Bishop f4 is probably very good too because you're going to take on b8, okay? That's very good as well. But he played bishop c5, his opponent took, and now, don't rush. Take the knight. And now you're attacking the rook and his opponent resigned. This is the end of the game. But why? Why he resigned? Why not this move? Do you see the finish here? Because, you know, what's the finish here?
Okay. <laughs> no pressure, okay? No pressure. <laughs> Again, look at, the, uh, look at the weak piece, the unprotected piece here, and see if you can do some kind of a fork, huh? Some kind of fork idea. Some kind of a fork idea. Who can do the fork? Who can do the fork? Yes? You could. Yeah, that's a good move too. That's a good move too. But how about I'd say, how about winning a full rook here? How about if you can win a full rook here? That's a big hint, yeah? You see it now? The full rook. Queen e5. Queen e5, check. And take. And win the rook. Okay? Now, king has to move or king has to block something. And whatever he does, you take the rook. And that's why a Fisher's opponent resigned here. Okay, so this is the final um, moment, 20 moves. So let's take a look from the beginning how we get here, okay? So let's see if you can remember all these moves. Okay? Ready? Okay. All right, the first move. Yes, Georg. So and the name of this opening is? Red T. Red T. Reti, okay? Reti. Reti. White is playing the Reti system, okay? Now, next move. G3. Next. Should be more hands. Yes? Now. Perfect. Continue. We have to play, we have to get our pieces out, right? Which squares we have to develop to? Yes, give D3, look at that. The point is you gotta blockade that bishop, okay? That bishop has to be blockaded. That's the point of this move. D3, blockade. C6. And that gives our square for which piece? The move d3 gives you a square for which piece now? What was the next move? Knight d2, correct. Now look at this knight coming to the corner trying to go here and create some problems. What did Fisher do to prevent that forever? Is it time to play before here? No. Is it time to play this move? No. no. Why? Because of knight. A4, yeah? Perfect. So what move did he play here to control this square? To control that square, what did he play here? C4. C4. Now he goes b5. This is a poor move. This is move weakens the position. Now you have the fork. Should be lots of hands now for the fork, remember? That, that's a weakening move. That b5 move is a weakening move. Okay, you want to move a little bit that way so you're not touching the camera? <laughs> <laughs> the camera moved. <laughs> yeah, should be okay. Yeah. Okay, what's the idea? Fork. Yes. Yeah. 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 Remember the fork here? Remember the, this B pawn pushed and weakened something. See the C6 square? I highlighted the weakness. The weakness is the C6 square. 
How can we attack the C6 square here immediately? Tigran. Knight to uh, E5. Knight to E5 is a move. Attacking the pawn. Now, find a move that attacks the pawn and something else. Same idea, right? Okay, go ahead. Knight to um, uh, D4. Aha, much better, right? Because you attack the bishop too, and you want the bishops. Again, what is the value of the bishop? Remember, the value of the bishop. People think it's equal, but it's not. It's three and a quarter. Yeah, quarter. Let's say not three and a half quite, but three and a quarter. So if you can win that bishop, that's going to be a little, little gain for you right there, okay? So he plays queen d7. And now... It's time to play which move? It's time to play which move, yes? Take on f5. And look at that diagonal. That bishop is so strong on an open diagonal like that, attacking. Very strong diagonal. Now, now what can you do? Very strong, let's see. Yes, Kivor? Nice move, yes. Opening up the diagonal and now threatening bishop g5, attacking the knight. If captured, then queen takes. So he played h6, preventing that, covering the g5 square. And now, which piece you want to activate here and put pressure? And again, Development is very important. Always you have to develop your pieces. And here you have some pieces that are not developed. So you want to develop them. So which piece you want to develop here and put some pressure? Yes? Um, E3. E3 what? Bishop. Bishop E3, correct. And you attack that knight. Now, if he takes, queen takes, and again, lots of problems because this bishop is very strong. So he goes knight e6. Now, yes? Knight e4. Trying to trade. You keep trying to trade at knight, he keeps trying to avoid that. So it's a little game, you know? Now you're attacking the pawn on f5, so he has to go here. And now, now you need to make an active move. Active move here needed. Queen b3. Absolutely, queen b3. Activating the queen. And this is the moment, tactic time now. The position is already too loose here, too loose. So it's time for, to find a tactical shot here to win the game now. Now you're going for the victory here. We're, we're done with maneuvering now. We are going for a win here. Let's see who remembers the tactic that starts this idea. Uh, he can block can block can no longer you know control the center after this Remember the tactic here. We have so much pressure here on d5, yeah? He's barely holding the position. So what can we do here to completely break through, break through through the defense here? Yes? Knight takes c6. Sacrificing the knight. He has to take it. And now... Follow up. C takes D, attacking the queen, attacking the knight. He has to go here.
And now the quiet move here needed. The quiet move, not the, you know, you want to take stuff, but now it's a quiet move here. Tigran. C. C3. Excellent. Queen C3 now attacking the queen and attacking that knight. He goes here, and now we see the example of the overworked piece. By the way, a question for you. If queen goes on B6 here, what can you do here? Look at that pin here you have. What kind of very strong idea you have to win that knight on C5? To win the knight on C5, what can you do? Which pawn? D4, D5. No, D4. No, D4. D4 you can go too, but he goes here. But I think this is better, right? So you put him more on pressure here and threaten to take. So that's why he didn't play that. He went here. And now we have the queen as being the overworked piece. It's doing too many things now. It's overworked. So what are we going to do now? Take the bishop. Take the bishop takes, take the knight, and black resigned because if he plays here, you have which move? Queen e5, Queen e5 check, winning the rook on b8, and Fisher's opponent resigned. Very nice win for Fisher. Okay? All right, we're going to do one study, and then you guys are going to play some practice games, okay? So let's do the study now, okay? See if you can, you can solve this one. Very famous study, white to play and win, actually. Be believe it or not, you're down, you know, rook, you only have a pawn, you're going to win this game. Some of you might know this one, it's very famous study, okay? White to play and win. White to play and win, let's see. First move, take it on. Well, the king b7, he'll go rook c5, and then he'll sacrifice. It's going to be a draw. So push the pawn. Push the pawn. Correct. He checks. This is tricky. This is where it gets tricky. I mean, this gets tricky a little bit. This gets a little tricky, okay? Gets a little bit of tricks. Where do you go with the king? That's that's the key. Yes. King C five. Uh, yeah, king C five. The problem is now he goes here and he puts the rook behind it, oh. and it's going to be a trouble, okay? So we don't want to do that. Yes. Check. Tigran. Now again, if you go there, he's gonna go down here and get behind it. Is it um, king to Check. Is it back up to? Gabor. B3, B3, stay there, girl. Now, George, check. And now, finally, we're down the board. We can play which move? C2. Correct. Now, it looks like a victory. It looks like a success now. Because we're going to queen or we're going to take the rook? Not so easy. He's uh, being tricky here. Very tricky. Rook D4. Now, if you queen... 
Do you see the steel mate? Yes. Yeah. Check. Guess what? Steel mate. Okay? That is a steel mate, okay? Draw. Now, what is the move to win here? Isaac knows this probably. Very famous position. <laughs> <laughs> I think he definitely knows because he's a great dog. <laughs> We're going to use an idea called George. And then he keeps checking, George. If you go here, he goes, Ch check. Check. We don't want that. <laughs> Something special I need from you. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. Rook, look at that move. Perfect. With the threat of checkmate. With the threat of checkmate. Okay? Now, the only way to stop it, the steelmate doesn't work. Check, I take. If you try to steelmate, I take. There's no steelmate. You go here, checkmate. So now he has to go here. Rook a4. And now, a move after which you win the game. Yes. King three. There you go. King b3, attacking the rook, and rook c1. And mate. That's the game. Okay, excellent job, guys. Bravo.